what if death in crypto gaming is permanent, just in the same way as it is in actual life? This is a wild idea known as play to die, which was recently proposed by crypto researcher and investor Dave Stanton. But how exciting would that idea be, how does it work, and what would happen next when your character is dead in the game? Be sure to stay around because we're going to answer all this. Hey, guys, welcome to this channel. NAV Millionaires Club is where financial markets junkies hang out together to learn more about investing and trading stuff. So, if you're new to this community, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel and smash the bell button. Alright, let's go. Play to die. New crypto gaming model makes death in the metaverse real. Dave Stanton proposed what seems to be a wild idea, it is the play to die model. He wishes to build a system that lets a beloved character who dies in one game die forever. The character is minted as an NFT that could be purchased or sold on the open market. Once the character is dead, it burns the NFT. Play to die. Dead but alive as NFTs. Death is not a novel concept in gaming, so the play to die model could be an easy transition. Characters in first person shooter games and those in role playing games die in the game. Players have a certain number of lives, either infinite or a limited amount. But the current idea of death in video games represents nothing but a feedback system that you have done poorly in a certain aspect of the gameplay. On the other side, in real life, when you die, it's literally game over for good. This is the same with the play to die model, when you die, you are dead forever. Stanton says that the actual death experience can be applied to crypto gaming. He hopes that this will unlock new experiences in gameplay as well as new opportunities for all gamers to gain and possibly create some of the most captivating spectator experiences. Stanton's plan revolves around NFTs, unique and immutable units of data stored on the blockchain. NFTs could be used to represent items like photos, audio, videos, and other kinds of digital files. And now they can represent dead characters in the gaming metaverse. He says that NFTs could be purchased, sold, traded, or used in many contexts outside of just one game. These points are important compared to former game experiences. How does it work? NFTs have brought up new possibilities in the circulation and curation of art. They have actually elicited endorsements from celebrities like Paris Hilton, Snoop Dogg, and Madonna. Referred to by some as the Wild West of blockchain technology, NFTs have also begun to draw criminals into the industry. Rug pull problems are a typical occurrence. Users have also fallen victim to phishing attacks and lost thousands of NFTs worth millions of dollars. In his concept, Stanton theorizes how permanent death in cryptocurrency gaming can work. He imagines a first-person shooter battle game or other fighting games. In that game, a player's character is a non-fungible token. As players win a fight or battle, they accrue skills, however, if you lose it, your character dies, and it eventually burns the NFT. According to Stanton, any player could start from nothing and build up a highly skilled character. He adds that, theoretically, high-level characters would be rare because many would die all the time in the game. Players can then play with their characters or sell them to someone who wishes to have a skilled fighter but doesn't actually want to put in the effort to achieve it. Stanton points out that this can open earning opportunities for good players with little or no money. Rarity is not random but based on effort, skill, and survival. He also believes that there's an opportunity for skins or items to be unlocked by reaching particular levels or surviving a certain number of fights and battles. This would give extra value to these characters beyond the skills in the game. A risky proposal. All that said, it should be noted that not everyone is excited about Stanton's idea. According to Long Du, game director at NFT Pixel Art P2E gaming platform Anamura, the idea of permanent death in cryptocurrency gaming is weak. He explains that the weakness is that most investors wish to see models that have little risk and a huge upside. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you ever found it helpful, be sure to like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. And now, how do you see the play to die gaming model? You can share your opinions and arguments in the comment section below.